Hey, I'm Mark Levin. I'm a musician. I'm from Chicago, but currently I live in Detroit. I wanted to become a musician because that was my way of blending in with my hearing friends. Uh, growing up, my brother and all my friends, they played music. Uh, they guitar, and bass, and drums, and they'd play around, and I just wanted to fit in, and I didn't want to be left out, so I tried picking up as much as I can and hang out with them more. I got, I got my first guitar when I graduated eighth grade, and my mom put me into private one-on-one -on -one lessons with a guitar teacher. When I went into high school, I took a guitar class with a group of people and two other deaf uh, students joined with me and we had an interpreter. So that was a unique, very cool and rare situation that I got to experience. Obviously, number one would be touring and performing with Sean Forbes. Uh, we've been able to tour all over the U.S., some international. Um, it's always like blows my mind that we're able to do this. I used to join open jams every Wednesday and be a variety of players and former teachers of mine. And every now and then we would get like famous musicians to join in. And I remember this one time, Buddy Guy's keyboardist sat in with the band and. It was all improv, it was all made up on the spot, and I just remember being able to keep playing and watching, and inside I was terrified, but I was able to keep up with everybody and keep up with the chord changes and improv solos, and I never forgot how good that felt looking back when everybody praising you and just to think that, wow, I was really able to keep up with these pro musicians. I mean, these guys got some history and I'm playing with them. It's just an awesome experience. His wife and I went to high school together and she introduced us. I mean, deaf musicians were very rare and few. We're not. So when you hear about other deaf musicians, you're like, you want to meet? Who is this guy? So Sean and I met and we just instantly clicked and we just started chatting about working together and our goals and what we wanted to do in the future. We've been touring together since 2008, and you know we're everywhere together. Um, going on tour, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, and it's always amazes me how many people show up and the comments from the people. I mean, it's really always been a dream of mine to do what we're doing, and I never thought that was a reality and to experience that now and do everything that we've been doing it was it's wild looking back on this ride that we've gone through and very fortunate to have experienced that i mean there's so many obviously number one is my hearing loss it's the biggest challenge you can experience i mean when I'm trying to learn new songs, I have a hard time hearing guitar parts that, that I need to learn. So many things I can't actually hear that I have to play. So listening to something and learning it compared to actually performing it, it's just totally different for me. Other challenges I have are sometimes my battery dies on stage and I'm like, 
all of a sudden I can't hear what I'm doing, so that's always traumatizing. Influence with the way the words flow and you can see the emotion and the language and the body and the delivery and I just, I just love how um, it, it comes out and poetry is sometimes very natural for me, sometimes I struggle with it, so I, I just love sharing my words with audiences because it's a totally different experience being a musician. As a musician, I'm able to hide behind my instrument and I don't sing, I don't often talk with my audiences, but when I do poetry, it's, it's me. I, I feel like I'm naked on that stage and I'm sharing my words and everybody's watching and it's really scary and I, I, I love that feeling afterwards that when I take the stage, it just goes away and become a natural performer. Working with Deepan is an amazing experience. I've been able to do stuff that I've only dreamed of. Um, you know, I, I work with an amazing team of people. You know, I think one of my favorite things is that I'm also able to meet so many amazing, talented, deaf professional artists, actors, musicians, I mean it's opened a whole world for me to show that really nothing we can't do. My words of advice to you or no matter what you want to do, don't give up. There were so many people that told me no, that I'm making a mistake trying to pursue a life in music. Um, told me that I'm setting myself up to fail. They don't know. I, I was passionate. I really wanted it. I was motivated to prove them wrong and I kept going. Sometimes wanted to give up, but I didn't. Never give up. Never stop practicing. Never stop learning. Always keep going. Like uh, when I was 18, uh, it's something that I saw and I really loved it. I loved the whole for uh, three turntables.